Hello guys, in this video we'll be seeing how to add background images to Tkinter and also we'll be seeing how to add images to the button uh, using the module build. So the first thing which I want you to do is to import the module build. In case if you guys didn't install it, I want to go, go, go to the command prompt and then I want you to type pip install below. So that is the module name and once you are done with that it should install since I have already installed it in my system it is giving me that the requirement is already satisfied and once your uh, once your installation is completed then in the code you have to type the statement from fill import image and image dk yeah and for getting the background images i use the website which is called as freepic and for this video i'm going to use this as the background image uh, and in case in your project uh, if you're having any text or button make sure that you're choosing the background images with a plain background like this one or any plain colors that is because uh, while placing the buttons and images or any other uh, text will face a problem of the background color of the text will be conflicting with the background color of the image that is the background so to avoid that i want you guys to make sure that the background image is of a plain color with some plain uh, images okay so once you have downloaded it make sure that you import it and uh, save it inside another folder which is called as images so i'm saving i'm saving this image over here and then if we see uh, we can uh, see that the size of the image is so large that it won't fit inside the take enter window in our case we are going to have this uh, window size as 5, 700 cross 500 so the size of the window is 700 cross 500 but the image size is so large so in order to deal with that what i want you to do is to open the image and then inside here you will see this resize button and in that uh, go to the define custom dimensions and make sure that you maintain the aspect ratio and then since our uh, width is 700 in the take into window i'm going to give this as a 750 so that the height is also the same which is fitting enough for the take into window so i'm going to save this resized copy in the images folder I'm going to save that as w1 yeah so once you're done with that you can now see that the size of this image is uh it's not this one you can now see that the size of the image is 750 cross 500 pixels so once you're done with that the next thing which i want you to do is go to this uh, code and then uh, we have to first load the image so first we are going to load the image load is equals to image dot open of uh, we are storing the images in the image images folder so images of w1 dot png so once you have loaded the image we have to render the image for the tkinter window to read it so render is equals to image tk dot photo image of load yeah so once we are done with that we can use the label uh, label to place this uh, render that is a final output inside the screen so image is to label and we are going to place it inside the root window so root and then image equals to img and i'm going to place this dot place at x is equals to zero and y is equals to zero so when i run this okay so images one no file okay so no file name w1.png so Okay, so it is jpg so we have to 
instead of this PNG, we have to give this JPG. And when I run this, and here it should be render. Sorry for the mistake. And yeah, so when I run this, you can see that the image is opened in the background. And now we are having the image which we chose as the background image. And then in case uh, if you want to increase the window size, go uh, if you want to increase the tick into window size, then what you have to do is go to the main picture and make sure that you resize to the appropriate size. And you can also do it in another way. Instead of uh, doing this, uh, you can directly give. Um, yeah, instead of doing these two lines, you can directly give render is equals to uh, photo image of file is equals to images of w1.png jpg yeah so you can give this also but the problem is that uh, this photo image this function cannot open uh, the images other than this png format uh, it can only open the png format other than the png format it cannot open any other images so if you want we can if, even if i run this you can see that the error is giving that photo image is not defined so uh photo image okay sorry photo image yeah so when i run this you can see that couldn't recognize the data image file that is the it cannot recognize the data so when when other than the png format is given it will give the error that the photo image of this uh, uh, file is not recognized so in order to prevent that we are going using the fill module and that will give the perfect uh, without any error all the time then uh, in order to have the button in the in order to have the button image what i'm going to do is to go to a website which is called as buttonoptimizer.com and that is here and inside of this optim button optimizer.com i can create a custom button uh, which i want including the icon which i need and i can also change the button text to suppose like uh, click me yeah something like that and I can also change the uh, 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 button icon here. So, so click when I search for that button. Yeah, it gives me the icon. So I can choose this icon from here, and then I uh, remove this border also. That is the shadow, and I can also change the color over here. I'm not going to do that. If you want the button to be a round button. You can also increase the border to the 100 that is the border radius to 100 to the, so that it will be a, a round button and then when you're done with the modifications you can download download the button as the png image and make sure that you store that inside the images folder so i'm going to store that in this images folder and i'm going to rename that as b one yeah so once you're done with that the next thing which I go, I'm going to do is to, since this image is a PNG image, we can directly load using the photo image method. And so first I'm going to load the image img1 is equals to photo image of file is equals to images of uh, its name was button.png yeah so once you're done with that just create one button so inside this button we're going to place it inside the root variable and its image going to be uh, img1 and i'm just going to place a button for so b1.place at x is equals to 100 and y is equals to 100 and when i run this you can see that the button is somewhat weird looking that the we can see the radius of the border that is the border of the button we, which we don't want to be actually seen in the app so in order to make the button look uh, a bit neat what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move this for a bit now i'm just going to place it at x is equal to 400 and yeah and then what i'm going to do is to reduce the border to zero so bd equals to zero 
and now when i run this you can see that the button is created in case if you guys find any difficulties that the uh, background is of different color and the border uh, that the and the button background is of different color uh, what i want to want you to do is to go to this website which is called as the instant eye, eye dropper and download this uh, tool and once you once you have downloaded that go to the this icon over here and then drag it and then you can get the color code of this uh, background image so in this case the background image uh, color is hashtag f f4 or f5 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 so what i'm going to do here is add that background image so bg is equals to hashtag f5 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 and then what i'm going to do is add to background active background is also going to be the same thing that is hashtag f5 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 yeah so once you're done with that when you run this uh active background yeah so once you're done with this and when i run this yeah now you can see that the background is background color of the button is merged with the background image so even when i click this you can see that the only the button seems like to be clicking and the other thing which i wanted to do in case if your uh, file image size is a uh, larger size like it's like 8.99 mb or some 40 mb you can also do go to this website it called as the image compressor online that that uh, countingcharacters.com website under that uh, website you can go uh, navigate to this image compressor online and in here you can uh, uh, compress the image so that it won't take much time loading your image in the tick interview window and the next thing which i'm going to do is to add a uh, image that is the text for this uh, tick interview window so for that i'm going to go to this website which is called as textcraft.com which i personally like in in case if you guys have any websites you can use that also inside here i'm going to use this and the title is we can set it as any title as something like login page and when when i give create yeah you can see that the login page is created you can use both 3d style and also if you don't want that 3d you can also give that so it will be like this and if you want you can change also the background color extra so once you're done with that click the download button Uh, once it has downloaded make sure that you import it to the images folder and i'm going to paste this over here so, uh, after you have done with that and next thing which i'm going to do is to create the import the uh, image into the tkinter so img2 is equals to photo image of file is equals to images of for oh, the name was login page.png yeah so once you're done with that the next thing which i'm going to do is to place it in using the uh, label variable so that is uh, l1 is equals to label of which is going to be there in the root window root and its image is img2 and i'm going to place this l1 dot place at x is equals to 400 and y is equals to 400 so when i run this yeah, it went a bit back so x is equals to 200 and this also i'm going to reduce for 200 yeah so now you can see that the text is placed inside the screen and in order if you guys find any difficulties regarding the background color of the text you can do the same thing that is uh, go to this tool that is the instant eyedropper and check what is the background background color at that particular place so at this place it is e8 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 so what i'm going to do is go go to the label and change the background color to hashtag e8 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 yeah, so when i run this now you can see that the background is merged a bit with the 
uh, ba background image of the tick into window so in, it's still it's not that much so i'm just going to f4 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 i'm going to use that f4 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 and when i run this yeah now we can see that it is merged a bit and it is it seems like it is there actually in the uh, image so that's how you import a button and also how you place the image in the take into window and use a background image so that's it with the video guys and in the next video we'll be seeing how to create or make modifications to the registration page which we have made earlier in the video and i'll show you how to make the gui look a bit modern and that's it for the video if you like this content do subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for more notifications and i'm going to leave this links in the description so if you guys want to check out the website you can go and check out in the description in the links will be there so and in case if you guys have any doubt related to these videos feel free to comment it in the comment box and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you for watching